This episode of Photonics Hot List is brought to you by Aerotech. Precision motion control and automation. Take control. Speed. Precision. Performance. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy with Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. As next generation electronics advance, literally at lightning speed, technologies like hybrid photonic platforms and terahertz meta devices must keep up and bridge the optical and electronic domains. A lack of diagnostic tools to measure the speed and spatial resolution of next gen devices has been a challenge, but it's one that researchers in Germany can now overcome. A team from the University of Konstanz has developed an approach that can capture space-time imaging of electronic circuitry at the femtosecond and terahertz domains. The method uses an ultra-fast electron microscope to measure electric potentials essentially as a movie in space and time. The process involves creating femtosecond electron pulses in a transmission electron microscope and compressing them with IR laser light to an 80 femtosecond duration before using a photoconductive switch to synchronize them to the inner fields of a laser-triggered electronic transmission. This allows direct sensing of the local electromagnetic fields of electronic devices as a function of space and time. The researchers say their movie-like measurements can ultimately advance and lead the design and fabrication of next-generation devices. Bringing together super-resolution microscopy and digital displays, Researchers at Peking University in China are laying the groundwork for significantly more advanced biological discoveries. The team has developed a high-speed modulation system that brings together a digital micromirror device, or DMD, an electro-optic modulator, EOM, and 3D structured illumination microscopy, or 3D SIM. The new microscope setup, called DMD-3D-SIM, overcomes existing optical resolution limits to obtain super-resolution images of living cells and cellular structures in unprecedented detail. More specifically, the system improves lateral and axial resolution to produce a 3D spatial resolution that the researchers say is double what's possible with conventional wide-field imaging techniques. It captures even the most complex details in subcellular structures, like microtubules and mitochondria. The team is continuing to optimize the DMD 3D SIM system, including adding lasers for multicolor imaging, to study a wider range of biological samples and applications, and better understand things like complex cellular structures and how viruses and bacteria attack cells. The basic components of quantum computers, quantum bits or qubits, are incredibly fragile, making it difficult for the information exchange needed to turn the concept into reality. But a new theoretical model created by physicists in Germany could make the exchange much more stable and keep such a delicate system intact. Designed by a team at the University of Konstanz, the model introduces flying qubits, basically demonstrating how the information exchange between them is possible using photons to deliver quantum information. The work has involved controlling the direction of information flow, where it flows, and how quickly, using resonator-enhanced stimulated Raman emissions. This allows the approach to convert qubits into photons and in turn allows that increased control. It also allows direct optimization of the light pulse's temporal shape in the flying qubit, rather than optimizing control during the generation of the photon. The theoretical model shows potential for remote entanglement generation, the researchers say, as well as quantum state transfers between modules of a modular quantum architecture. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Be sure to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time.